continue to inhabit this planet and sustain life, we've got to be responsible. And the professions that we are related with, everything that we do in day-to-day -day life, not just professionally, it tends to have an adverse reaction on the planet. If we can just mitigate our footprint. Now, in our lighting industry, metal, LED, this book, there are so many components that get into it. You've just got to be more conscious. The life of a LED is supposed to be 20 years. We end up refurbishing that space well before that. So, how do we get to allow that LED chip to live its entire life? So, those are things we've got to address. Welcome back to the Virtual Lighting Design Community Podcast, a global platform that empowers, inspires, educates, and connects the lighting design community. This podcast is brought to you by our premium supporters, Aero Hospitality Lighting, Creative Lighting Asia, Erco, the Signify Lighting Academy, and Felix Lighting. Here's your regular dose of light inspiration. For anyone wanting a visual experience, please do check out our YouTube channel, where you will find the video version of this episode as well as many other great interviews and presentations by our industry thought leaders. Our YouTube handle is at vld.community. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without mentioning our online platform where the magic happens. Join us and your fellow lighting enthusiasts where you can gain access to the complete array of presentations, interviews, stories, ongoing conversations, a host of resources, and much more. So please do check that out and explore the community. Now, without further ado, let's head straight into the episode. Enjoy! Hello everyone, this is Amardeep Dugar signing in for the VLD community. This time around, we are again in Dubai at the Light Middle East. And today we have a very special guest with us. Uh, Manik, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi everyone, my name is Manik Tandun. I'm an architectural lighting designer and a big fan of the community. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Manik. So, is this your first time at Light Middle East? Yes. Okay. First, uh, yeah, first time I'm attending. Okay. And how? What do you think about this uh, as a fair? You, you've attended Frankfurt, I yes. presume. Yes. So, and how, how? Well, slightly smaller in scale. But, but it's got tremendous potential. The speaker lineup has been brilliant. I've really had fun one and a half day that I've attended so far. At, at the Think Light Forum? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, just the quality of speakers, the content, and the issues that are being addressed are very relevant. So yeah, it's a win-win. And plus you get to see some new products, meet up with some manufacturers. So I'm, this time, this year's theme is about responsibility. Now, you're an architect, you're a lighting designer. Uh, where does this whole thing about responsibility come in? I mean, do you still practice architecture or are you just doing lighting design? Very, very, very minimal architecture, more focused on lighting. But you know, the odd client comes back to me as for architectural advice, happy to help him. Oh. Okay, so so what is your um, your take on responsibility? I think it's this is the only planet we have that we are currently <laughs> inhabiting, mercifully. <laughs> yeah. So we've got to be aware of it. Yes. It's not just the need of the art, we can just keep saying that, but we really have to if you want to continue to inhabit this planet and sustain life, mm -hmm. we've got to be responsible. And the professions that we are related with, everything that we do in day-to-day -day life, not just professionally, it tends to have an adverse reaction on the planet. If we can just mitigate our footprint. Mm -hmm. um, construction industry in general, it's got challenges. Mm -hmm. the, the moment you break ground, you're already um, meddling around with what was nature. Yeah. So whether it's earthworms or chopping off trees, birds, insects, everything has an impact. Mm -hmm. Now, in our lighting industry, metal, LED, this book, there are so many components that get into it. You've just got to be more conscious and 
we were having that discussion yesterday yeah. about how each component, how long it takes, and if the life of a LED is supposed to be 20 years, we end up refurbishing that space well before that. So how do we get to allow that LED chip to live its entire life? So those are things we've got to address. Yeah. yeah so it's not just about energy savings anymore. Is there nah, so that's, many other that's just a very, very narrow no, no, no. vision approach to it. Yeah. There's so much more to it, which we've got to address. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's very true because, uh, I mean, the lighting industry is so just talking to each other. We need to really start widening and broadening our scope. Look at it's We're just a small call. Yeah. And I can't say that, hey, my lighting is brilliant and sustainable and so it's a good project. We've got to look at the big picture and while we're looking at the big picture, we can't miss the woods for the trees and vice versa. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. That, that's definitely the thing. And now we're talking about the uh, community as a whole. Uh, I Have you heard of the virtual lighting design community before? Absolutely. Are you a, a member? proud member. Oh, fantastic. That's really good. Uh -huh. So, uh, what do you think about this community? How long have you been a member and uh -huh. what are the things that you've liked so, or? Uh, what things can be improved about the community? So, I haven't been a member too long, okay. been a few months, okay. but uh, I think, I think almost a year now maybe. Okay. But um, yeah, it's a great community, it's a great platform. The idea that content is being put out there and we can have conversations with designers and other members of the community, I think that's great. And it just makes it more uh, accessible. Mm -hmm. And that's what I think, right? It has to be inclusive, which is something we are, the community is doing. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. The, the, the idea of starting this whole community, we're striving to get this whole thing together. Yeah. But uh, any tips for how to make this a little bit more better in terms yeah. of interaction? Uh, we, are, we are always constantly wanting feedback and yeah. more best is feedback from members because then it's always I, a great thing. To be honest, um, I haven't found anything adverse that or anything that I'd say can needs to be improved or you know if I was in control I'd do something different none of that I think you guys are doing a splendid job thank you very much and yeah. happy to be a part of it and to contribute as well thank you so much and it's I mean if I'm to be a little bit more self-critical what we are really now trying to look at is look at our allied industry uh, members to come and encourage them to become a part of this yeah. so that in how imagine you're an architect and a lighting designer yeah. It will be great if you have a few more architects coming and joining this community, having this conversation, a few engineers coming and joining this Absolutely. community. Absolutely. I mean, the idea is to get the community together. Yes. And more stakeholders, because the, very often we might be, we might end up being an echo chamber, yeah. repeating the same things, and you need an outside voice or someone who's Most not definitely. directly involved yeah. to step in and make, you know, it course correction if required. Yeah can be done or just new infusion of new ideas. We don't want to be living in a silo, do we? Exactly. Uh, yeah. Great. Thank you so much for your inputs, uh, Malik. My pleasure. And it'll Thank be good to see you as say, one of the next thought leaders for this. Uh, Looking community. forward to that. Looking Thank forward you. to that. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you. Bye. Bye. We hope you enjoyed this episode and you've gained some insight or inspiration that you can take away or perhaps apply. If you enjoyed this episode, it is always appreciated if you could take a moment to share the podcast with your peers and friends or leave a review on your favorite podcast app. Consider subscribing to the podcast and our YouTube channel to stay up to date with our latest content. Do check out our online platform as well at vld.community. If you would like more, why not go back and listen to some of our previous episodes and hear more from our thought leaders. Thanks for listening, and we will be back with more great presentations or interviews very soon. Till next time.